You are watching Life on Gabriela TV, community television for you, by you. The 27th Annual Gabriola Island Thanksgiving Studio Tour happened October 7th through the 9th. Close to 60 artist studios opened their doors to welcome art collectors and anyone wanting to enjoy the wide variety of creations involving paintings, sculpture, ceramics, metalwork, and much more. A preview of the tour occurred on Thursday, October 5th at the Nova Boutique and Gallery. It's Gabriel Studio Tour, which means that the Gabriel Arts Council has organized this event, this amazing event, and created a beautiful brochure and has artists sign up to become part of a studio tour. And the studio tour is an opportunity for, uh, for art lovers and collectors and community folks to come right into the artist studio without having to make an appointment or feel intimidated about calling because it's open for everyone to come out and enjoy. Uh, I think it's a great tool for um, marketing, getting yourself out there, getting known. Um, you know, if you're just quietly working away in your studio, nobody knows about you. So uh, the studio, um, the Gabriel Art Council does a great job in marketing the whole tour um, all around BC, basically, I think. And um, the booklets go out and, and notices go out in newspapers and magazines and whatnot. So. Um, yeah, I think they do a, a huge job for, for the artists that are in the tour. I think the art tour gives artists an opportunity to meet a real vast variety of people that are interested in all kinds of different visual imagery. Um, you have with the, the uh, guide, you have an idea, I'm going to go see a painter. So if you're really more interested in craft, you can do that so there's lots of variety that you can see on the island and lots of different um, artists and, and craftspeople and yeah it's a real wide variety and um, yeah the artist needs absolutely definitely needs to have an audience someone to it's like reading writing a book you want someone to read it so you know making artwork yeah you want someone to see it so it's a really lovely opportunity for people for artists Having people like Pat, you know, sharing in her space so that it's accessible and not everybody could make it over to Mudge and Gabriella is a more accessible island so it's nice to be able to join in in this community and there's definitely a lot more people coming through so we're seeing some great numbers and having some wonderful conversations, getting to know different people that are visiting this island and it's very well promoted so it's nice to be a part of it. It's good for business because it helps create a bridge between the artist and a collector, even if they're not ready in that moment. They've got to meet me, they've got to be in my studio, so there's a connection made that they're gonna feel more comfortable. Like, oh, I would like you to make a custom piece for our house or something like that. It's not just coming from cold. Like, there's, there's a lot of warmth and connection and community spirit and appreciation that happens on this weekend, far beyond like actual art sales and stuff like that. The art tour, um, it, it uh, invites people into my home, but it, it allows them to see all the work I've been doing and, and it allows, allows me to do some business and um, make a little bit of money. And um, you know, the more often that I do the art tour, probably the more often my name will become known and people will come back and hopefully purchase uh, some more of my work. So it's beneficial. Um, I mean, I love to sell my artwork, um, but usually it's more of a, it's a, it's more of a personal feeling, like it's not a, uh, it's, it's like 
you've met somebody that is responding to something that you're doing. I, I, I work not to sell. I'm just doing my thing. And uh, so when someone else is moved by what, I've, what I'm putting out or what I'm saying or what I'm wanting to express, it's a very, it can be quite a moving experience for myself and sometimes for the person that wants to buy something because there's a lot of art that's available. And uh, so to find something that really moves you, um, that's kind of, you know, special. It's always this balance, you know, I, I want to make it affordable for people, but as well, being a maker and a creator, we put a lot into it. And sometimes the material costs as well, it can be high depending on what your medium is. So it's nice to have, you know, some uh, coming back in. But for the most part, I've been trying a new thing, um, just saying you can pay what you can afford for some items. And yeah, it's working out well. They buy prints and they buy art cards and, and whatnot. So. I did, this year I did a lot more small prints so that they're affordable and um, in this day and age I think people are, are, you know, everything's more and more expensive all the time, you know, just to live and get by and um, I think I, I wanted to offer a few things that were smaller and um, more economical. It's important for the whole island uh, economy for sure, not just for artists but for ev everyone else who's doing any kind of business on the island. Any lodging place, they're almost always all booked up. Restaurants are always full. Um, I would imagine that even like the grocery store and places like that because people are buying picnics, go to the beach, just every kind of service that's offered on Gabriola would be getting used this weekend. I don't know how much percentage bigger than normal, but a lot. It's significant. Yeah. 